Insulin therapy often is an important part of diabetes treatment. In this video, we will talk about Arabasagla, a medicine contained insulin. First of all, Arabasagla is a biosimilar medicine. This means that Arabasagla is similar to a biological medicine, also known as the reference medicine, that is already authorized in the European Union, EU. The reference medicine for Arabasagla is Lantus. Abasagla is a medicine that contains the active substance insulin glargin. It is used in adults and children over the age of 2 for the treatment of diabetes. Abasagla is available as cartridges and pre-filled disposable pens, quick pen, and can only be obtained with a prescription. It is given by injection under the skin in the abdominal wall, tummy, the thigh, or the deltoid region, upper arm. The site of injection should be changed with each injection to avoid changes to the skin, such as thickening, that can make the insulin work less well than expected. Abasaglo is given once a day at the same time each day. The dose is adjusted individually, and the patient's blood glucose, sugar, should be regularly tested to find the lowest effective dose. Abasaglo can also be given together with diabetes medicines taken by mouth in patients who have type 2 diabetes. Patients can inject themselves with a basaglo if they have been trained appropriately. Diabetes is a disease in which the body does not produce enough insulin to control the level of blood glucose. A basaglo is a replacement insulin that is very similar to the insulin made by the body. The replacement insulin acts in same way as naturally produced insulin and helps glucose enter cells from the blood. By controlling the level of blood glucose, the symptoms and complications of diabetes are reduced. The active substance in abasagla, insulin glargin, is produced by a method known as a recombinant DNA technology. It is made by bacteria into which a gene, DNA, has been introduced that makes them able to produce insulin glargin. Insulin glargin is slightly different from human insulin. The change means that it is absorbed more slowly and regularly by the body after an injection, and that it has a long duration of action. The most common side effect with abasagla, which may affect more than 1 in 10 people, is hyperglycemia, low blood glucose. Reactions at the site of the injection, redness, pain, itching, and swelling, and skin reactions, rash, have been seen more often in children than in adults. That's some information we collected. Thank you all for being here today. I appreciate your time and attention during the video. If you have any questions or feedback, feel free to share.